Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Rosa. Welcome to Miss Rosa's Storytime at the Louis Ribido Library. Today we'll be reading Travel Guide for Monsters by Lori Dickman. This book is read with the permission of Sleeping Bear Press. Let's see what the story is about, boys and girls. When traveling with monsters on a trip across the nation, this guide will give us tips to have a marvelous vacation. While riding on a cable car, your monster should be cautious. The ups and downs of Frisco Hills can make a monster nauseous. Oh no, he's gonna throw up. If strolling down the boulevard you see some famous stars, it's fine to ask for autographs, but don't pick up their cars. <gasps> Look at this one. Your monster may be not understand the Grand Canyon they call Grand. It is not a hole to play in, and it can be filled with sand. <gasps> Look at that. You're likely to get thirsty when you hike up a mountain. Make sure to warm your monster that those geysers are not fountains. Our nation's parks are beautiful with wide, expensive spaces. You better take a head count. There should only be four faces. He wanted to take a picture too. When you're in a windy city, you can catch a baseball game and try to find the kiss cam for your 15 seconds fame. <laughs> he got on the on the um, on the TV on the big screen. Your monster may feel sleepy after eating home cooked vittles. He gets a second wind. It can hear some country fiddles. Oh, he's gonna dance now. What did, oh, they're in Nashville. Amusement parks are lots of fun. Play games or take a ride. But have your monster measured to be sure he fits inside. <laughs> Look at that. You must be this tall. I don't think he's that tall. I think he's way too big for that. Down south, among the Everglades, your monster should wear waders when playing Marco Polo with the crocodiles and gators. <gasps> Look at that. I think they're ready to eat. What do you guys think? You'll know if you reach the ocean when you can't drive farther east. Your monster needs to understand it's not his private feast. He's eating all the uh, lobsters. Look at that. In Washington, our capital, you'll see historic sites. When you meet the president, assure her he won't bite. If you visit Lady Liberty and tour her mighty crown, your monster may get dizzy, so remind him, don't look down. Uh-oh. He's really, really high up there on her crown. When checking out a waterfall, your monster must behave. Don't let him use a boogie board to ride it like a wave. <laughs> Your travels give you memories. You'll treasure through the years, but how will you explain your monster crazy souvenirs? <gasps> Look at that. He brought all that home, his monster. How will he explain all that? Wow, one less head up there in the mountain. <gasps> the end, boys and girls, that was so cute. We'll see you next week, bye-bye. These are a few similar great books located at our branch, available for checkout. 
Thank you for joining us at our virtual story time. Express services at the Lewis Rubido Library are available Sunday through Saturday. We're located at 5840 Mission Boulevard. You can reach us at 951-682-5485 or rivlib.net.